Good morning. We're going to look now at the dollar index. First, I want to put on the weekly fibs and show you how to do these. This is where I personally will take them from. There's your little consolidation, okay? And the move started here. So I'm going to take them from here upwards. All right? Just so that you know that in the textbooks, they say take it from there to there. Me, I like to do it a little bit different. Where did that move start? Started from there. From at that point there, okay, which was 89.23, up went the dollar index. Now you can see we've been higher on the dollar index. This is the weekly chart. We've been higher. We've been a lot lower, but we have been higher. Now, we know then where we can pull back to. We can pull back to this trend line that's coming in here, which is at 97.73. Dixie at the moment's 98.50 and everything's looking okay for the dollar index. Okay, but you are seeing a um, little bit of divergence here, as you can see, all right? Just keep your eye on that. The market has made new yearly highs, well, new two yearly highs, basically. So, again, keep your eye on this. This is the weekly chart over here. It made a top didn't come down much but here it's diverging although not showing any signs at the moment which is why euro stuck in a like a dead dead beat range and we're all been losing the will to live so there's your resistance levels or support levels here from fibs now what we can do if i remove those i can put these on and what i'll do here is just for my own personal guide. I want to see what happens from there to there. As I say, I'm only very, very visual. And as you can see, twice we stopped here, dead, at the 70 line. I do like this 70% fib now, I've got to tell you, which is at 99.16. Our high there was 98.93. Now, last week, we took that out, and we went to 99.37. That's fine, we saw the euro, um, we saw the euro decrease, and look at what we ended the week up. You know, the, on the week, we ended up lower. So, above that 99.16, the market didn't like it, it didn't. So now what we're gonna do is squish it and have a look at the daily chart. Now everything was looking peachy on the dollar index. Um, the RSI is at neutral pointing higher. Our daily stochastics double topped, but on the top, <coughs> excuse me, it didn't actually do any great shakes. It actually stayed below here. So that's just a visual thing that I use that says to me, do you know what, hang on a minute, maybe this market isn't looking to top um, or to, to go that much higher. It's just a bit of, have a look, beware. Down we came. So where did we retrace to? I love retracements, they're just my thing. So here, you can just go, well, yeah, it's like going up from there, you take it up to the high, and you know, down we came. But this has been a sticking point on the daily chart, 98.54. No real surprise there, because it is, if you didn't use FIBS, it is chart resistance. You can see that if I empty this out a bit, you can see there, we failed, 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 failed. Okay, so there's no reason why we shouldn't fail again. We like to say history repeats itself, and it does. This will be the problem. Okay, you've got the RSI on the daily pointing higher. You do have the stochastics actually at much, um, not that much, sorry, it's me and it, not that much oversold. And if we do go up from this point on the stochastics, you're actually turning bullish just off that line. So you're actually turning bullish on quite a good area you know it's 
if it's to go up, it doesn't sort of normally go down here on a flat line. So if this starts to turn up, happy days. That should mean a break above that 98.54. Use that as your guide. Okay, it's very, very important that you would actually use that as your guide as we go into the US session. Okay, we've got lows I've seen overnight of 98.26, highs of 98.52. Okay, so I don't know, it could be rollover. Here we've got a low of 97.86. Don't know why, won't have that. I'd go for the 98.26 low, which puts it, funnily enough, still above here. So you're ranging, all right? I will get onto these guys, ask them why they've got a dodgy price. But, you know, Asia can do anything. And if you don't have a market that is traded a lot overnight, then we have these wacky moves, okay? So, Let's say we're still within here. Now, if we fail again, and we failed one, two, three, four, this will be the fifth time that we haven't been able to get it. If you look at the nine day moving average, that's coming in at 98.52. So there are reasons why the market is not breaking up above this resistance. It wants to, we're trading at the top of the recent range, which is why the euro is holding above 110.20. Right, that's all I can say about dollar index. If you're trading euro, look at that one, all right? Because it is vitally important because the way it's composed, it is composed more of the euro than any other currency out there. Even though it should be a basket of currencies, the euro is the predominant one. Good luck, I will catch you on the desk later.